On the front lines of the historic Civil Rights March in Selma, Alabama, standing along with Martin Luther King Jr. is one of the most remarkable religious figures of the 20th century, Rabbi Abraham Joshua Heschel. I think they became friends, but more than friends, they became brothers. He was the authority on the prophets, but on this occasion, he was the prophet. <laughs> Abraham Heschel is plucked from the fire of the Holocaust that will take the life of his mother and sisters. And in 1940, he arrives in America. And he's already come out of this magnificent dynasty of rabbis that go back for centuries. He's part of a dynastic royalty. He lived in excruciating ways with the reality that as the world and the family he grew up in was destroyed in Europe, most of the world was in fact indifferent. Remember, in a free society, some are guilty, but all are responsible. Over the next three decades, Heschel fights indifference through his vision of a God who seeks to partner with humanity. To be in real connection to God was to be in awe and radical amazement at the universe that God had created. And his love for the prophets of the Hebrew Bible who dare speak truth to power. And Heschel taught that each of us has a choice to make. What side of history do we ultimately want to land on? He was kind of a theological Hemingway. He wrote in short, pithy aphorisms of enormous power. Heschel plays a pivotal role in reshaping the contentious relationship between Catholics and Jews. But I also have to remind them that my being Jewish is so sacred to me that I am ready to die for it and he risks being in the forefront of the protests against what he believes is an immoral war in Vietnam. My father was attacked for so many of the public positions that he took. My father wouldn't be quiet. No one could silence him. I am an optimist against my better judgment. But somehow, I believe in God. And somehow, I believe and am convinced that he will have mercy and pity more than we deserve. 